The energy shift and local automobile industry are certainly on course despite challenges such as funding for research, innovation, plus technology transfer. Kira Motors, Uganda's automobile enterprise, is currently in the second phase of implementing local automobile manufacture premised on e-mobility. Amidst budget cuts for the upcoming financial year with 20 billion shillings dedicated for the project to inspire long-term mass production, anticipation to capture the local and African market is still unwavered. We were allocated 247 billion and these funds have been used to really move the sector. However, this coming financial year, 23-24, that money has been cut drastically. In fact, for things like the Innovation Fund, which is the money that we use to fund most of these projects, uh, that we give to innovators that they apply and we give them for those young people who are studying, that money was completely removed. Development at the 100-acre seated plant is gradually assuming shape with different units at intermediate stages of completion. The current developments have so far attracted small-scale production influenced by limited funds to efficiency, although a bigger African market still remains in sight. This building, because it covers a number of functions, we call it the production facility. And that is the building you see across. It's about 7.5 acres of uh, space. And in this space, we have four power functions. Body manufacturing, then we have uh, protection, coating of the body and frame and painting. Then we have uh, chassis systems integration. And then we have the portion where we have warehousing. So those are the functions which are in this facility. We should first of all expect to see our own vehicles on the road. And I think every Ugandan feels very proud when you see nice beautiful buses moving. However, we are also going to begin to see other cars, pickups, and we're going to begin to see other, other SUVs. And our strategy is uh, we would like to, after we've stabilized the bus on the market, we want this government uh, vehicles to be made here. As the domestic automobile market adjusts to international dynamics, such as the energy shift and integration, implementation of the shift hasn't been straightforward. According to local private enterprise, Tobico, technology transfer, health research, and market access remain bigger challenges. This, however, remains a clearly anticipated trial for players in the evolving market, as government as well still grapples with almost similar tests. We are in DC industry of electrical vehicles, uh, we, are, we have a lot of problems in this industry as we, we are still also, we are still on prototype some of the vehicles, especially like this one of solar, solar powered vehicle. Uh, then we have another type of vehicle where that we can convert these normal vehicles, the one we have already in the system. Uh, also we can work on these uh, hybrid electrical vehicles. All those vehicles, as I'm saying, they are using batteries. Uh, this industry, that's why I say we still have a problem in this industry. The, the problem of battery technology is still a big problem. Uh, we have the issue of charging points, also that is a problem. And uh, we have the accessibility of getting these uh, equipment of uh, EVs, also is a, another problem. So what we are doing in Uganda is manufacturing buses. We start with steel bars and steel uh, hollow sections. We start with sheets of paper, of iron, then we buy some from suppliers, we buy certain parts. We design the bus, we design the vehicle ourselves, and then make those parts. We order them, some of them we order them from outside the country and from within the country. With improved funding to spur innovation and the country expecting realignment of public transport to cheap decongested mass mobility, possibility of overhaul to the local transport industry seems likely in the long term. Ivan Tivenkana, Smart24 TV, Business Today. Nice, nice.